Can you introduce yourself? My name is Chanupa Gluha Money. I represent the Free Lakota Nation, the independent Lakota Nation, within the five tri-states area of South Dakota, North Dakota, Montana, parts of Wyoming, and Nebraska. Do you have a message for Tracy Tillery? Yes, I do. I have the most astonishing message to Mr. Tracy Tulu on the grounds of independence, self-determination, and freedom. Freedom is the context of why I'm bringing this message to him. Over the years, my people have been struggling with colonial policies. First and foremost, they were implementing that understanding to be acceptable with the concepts of how America idolizes his educational system and the right to be a citizen. And all these colonial policies that were affecting and implemented upon people of color, especially indigenous people, and in our own country, in Turtle Island, as First Nations people, we successively abided by those provisions and policies. Number one, America has justified it into a sense where they made us beg for those rights of way. Why do I call them rights of way? Number one, a year and a half ago, I and my girlfriend and my little sister went to Washington, D.C. to present a case of real international, congressional investigation about the graft and corruption going on in every said Indian reservation in our country known as Turtle Island, which America calls home of the brave. Number one, Mr. Tulu, head of the Justice Department for Native Affairs, took an understanding to administer what is written on this sheet of paper. Can you read that? Yes, I will. It reads, I will meet with the elders as soon as I am able. Likely, this will be in the first half of 2012. I will give you 30 days notice before I come out, unless you agree otherwise. Tracy Tulu, September 1st, 2011. Signatories, Chanupa Gluha Money, Naomi Archer, and my wife-to-be, Delphine Charging. These three individuals were in full capacity in the present form addressing issues about abuse at the hands of this colonial government, little brother known as the IRA which in turn is the Indian Reorganization Act of 1934, which interprets power vested to a tribal government. Not a separate government, a tribal government. Native people have always been subjugated to colonial warfare. Therefore, the tribal government is at best in violation of those colonial laws. So it is best understood that Mr. Tracy Tulu honor what he signed for and written. But that doesn't happen in America. Remember, America is one big lying place to live in with a faulted smile. Why do I say a faulted smile? Because everything written in black and white, it doesn't mean it has the validity of enforcing it. If it was true, this is a pretext opening indication by Professor Stephen Pavar. Mr. Pavar had faced a lot of unhealthy discussions and attempts to expose the truth about how the American government and the justice system has been depriving citizens, especially First Nation citizens, a right to be free. 
and acceptance vested upon their own independence. Roughly in that Tribes and Indian book by Professor Stephen L. Pavar, it's a book pertaining to the rights that we have established and enforced by Congress. So if this book means that we have the validity to maintain our freedom, then America, leave us alone. And let us exercise what we need to do. Then and only then can we teach you how to be free. So I'm going to read something to you that comes from Indian policy, which congressional officials approved. Do we have a right to enforce our independence? Yes, we do. In the book, Professor Stephen Pravar publicly signs and approves accordingly in a pretext at the hands of the American government, and it reads, May the federal government regulate off-reservation Indian hunting and fishing. Congress has the power to regulate every aspect of Indian hunting and fishing and may even abrogate Indian treaty rights to hunt and fish, providing that it pays just compensation to the tribe for the value of the loss. Now let's really kind of have a little indication and discussion about that. What does that mean? in the eyes of the American congressional officials that approved this right away. Right away. So this is what our open indication and plea was to Mr. Tulu. When you abrogate Indian treaty, you are actually acknowledging that the treaty is still alive. You abrogate it. You're not denying any falsified indication that it doesn't exist. It's alive. Now, do we have the right to hunt and fish in treaty territory? Yes, we do. Congress even approves it, as I read on. And as I read further on, Congress, though, has rarely limited tribal hunting and fishing rights. That's right. They only give a small limitation because of how the Anglos abuse the sporting practice for hunting and fishing. Right or wrong, that's right. That's why permits were issued for their said people that destroyed the whole ecosystem between hunting and migrating fish that came through our social waters. Why do I call it social waters? Because our shores are by rivers. We're not coastal Indians that live by the shores of the oceans. So social shores are within. That's where America doesn't understand how we've Indians, which you call us Indians, abided by our own. So furthermore, when you read on, yes, they had to limit non-natives. Specifically, according to Professor Stephen Pavar, he indicates the same provision. Same understanding with congressional approval. Therefore, as I continue on, on the contrary, as started earlier, Congress has passed several laws designed to protect plants and animals important to Indian tribes, such as the Environmental Protection Act, the Magnuson Act, and the National Environmental Protection Act. Why did they pass them? And they're out there, but yet you still them still violating and breaking the law. Well, number one, international and treaty people have a right to ex exercise that existence. Number one, if this existence defers them to destroy and be compensated by all means, then they should, but they haven't. The question is, okay, if we are to be compensated for this destruction, 
then how come America is not investigating all the taxpaying money that's being illegally spent at the hands of the federal government's little brother, which is this puppet little government called the IRA, which we know as the tribal government. They are in violation as, as America is in grave violation to destroying and we're not being compensated for it. If it is, show me. Show me that America protects me from all that distortion of unhealthy law and order. So as I read on, in implementing these laws, federal agency consists with their trust responsibilities to Indians. Okay, let's stop right there. What does that really imply? In implementing these laws, federal agencies consistent with their trust responsibilities to Indians. While if anyone in America understands the English consonants and the wording, it means they have to protect those rights. They're not just rights. The American justice system, if it means it's just us that can receive justice, then this piece of paper does not exist. So in reality, independence is still free. Because you can't regulate independence. It's still alive and it's still free. So when all these curtails of subjugated warfare through a colonial base is still in effect, white America will never own up to its faulty responsibilities by not living to these agreements. Remember, America, I didn't ask you to regulate me. You regulated me. Because you wanted me to be like you. There was no way in hell that I could be like you. There's no way my skin can turn white. The Great Spirit made me a Lakota, which is a red man that belongs to that Mother Earth out there. So as I continue on to finish the real importance of how law should be interpreted, may curtail access to wildlife by non-Indians when necessary to protect tribal rights. Is that necessary? Yes, it is. If hunters come in from different states from the east and they come into the state of South Dakota, Nebraska, Wyoming, Montana, and North Dakota, which is the five tri-state areas of a free and independent Lakota nation, and they want to hunt. Specifically, first and foremost, you have to ask the said nation of that territory which is the Lakota, first and foremost. If we reject that provision, then you can also take it to Congress. And Congress is going to tell you that the minimum accessual hunting privileges is limited, but not to First Nations people. Hello, America, this is what you abide by. This is why taxpayers pay Congress to write these, to protect our rights as free and independent people. So, the final piece to this policy and these rights of way that protect natives, all indigenous natives in Turtle Island, known as America, federal officials also have been authorized by Congress. Now let me just reiterate that again in a high-toned voice. Federal officials also have been authorized by Congress. So only Congress can tell you to stop an Indian if he's breaking the law. 
not the FBI, not the Bureau of Indian Affairs, and not tribal police. If the tribal members, on the other hand, whether they're independent, treaty, or sovereigns implemented, they can, according to congressional law. It says it here. To understand policies is prevalent enough for people that have the English capability to understand word process. Hasn't America made games with that little definition? Word process? Wasn't that company called Milton Bradley? You expand on acronyms, which were so small, and you raped them and made them bigger. Well, it's the same thing, according to federal Indian policy, that Congress enforced for people to understand and live by. Only Congress can make that understanding. But when independence is in place, what does that mean? Leave First Nations people alone. They do not have the right to adapt. They don't, which is true. So finally, federal officials have also been authorized by Congress to file suits on behalf of Indian tribes. Now what does that mean particularly? That means the American government, when you put your hand, your right hand, on the Christian Bible and you raise it up and you tell them, you swear to protect and serve the rights of the American citizens, God damn it, then protect me. And if you can't protect me, America, with my full pledge of independence, by Congress, leave me alone. I'm not breaking your law. It is you. It's my voice that I give you that enhance a learning phase that you must abide to, and you will. Under the international courts of law, you don't want to go there because you would lose. You'll be tried and be held accountable for committing genocide. So as Professor Stephen Pavar writes and publishes, to assist treaty tribes in exercising their off-reservation hunting and fishing rights, the Secretary of Interior has enacted regulations under which identification cards will be issued by the Bureau of Indian Affairs or by the tribe or if it decides to undertake these tides, tribal members can exercise the eligibility of treaty rights and sovereign rights. It specifies it there, which means independence on an international note. Case closed. Do we have that right? Yes, we do, according to congressional law, according to Professor Stephen Pavar, and the final piece to this evidence of truth. These cards serve as proof to tribal, state, and federal law enforcement officers that the authorized holder is entitled to exercise these rights secured by the treaty identification card. International treaty cards, treaty cards, enrollment cards, whatever you name, specifically specify that we have that right. Do we have a right to drive? Yes. Do we have a right to operate a motor vehicle? Yes. Do we have a right to ride horses? Yes. Anywhere in America, our plead to Mr. Tracy Tulu, the head of the Department
I love to read his title because when I met him, I met him with perfection. Mr. Tulu, you head up a piece of the United States Department of Justice. You are the director of the Office of Tribal Justice. Tracy, please accept what you have written and honor it. Don't be like previous congressional people and ex-presidents that broke every word that they written and signed for to a nation that's struggling to remain free with those rights. We are asking you to honor what you have signed and dated in the presence of myself, Chanupa Gluha Money of the Free Lakota and Independent Nation of South Dakota, Montana, North Dakota, Wyoming, and Nebraska. And in his presence, during the accompanied visit to your office, my sister, Naomi, Archer, and my future wife, Delphine Antelope, charging, has presented this letter of approval from you to the hands of our said elders that are seeking your arrival. And once and for all, I'm going to read as it's stated. I will meet with the elders as soon as I am able. Likely, this will be in the first half of 2012. Mr. Tulu, it is 2012. And it is the early part of the year. I will give you 30 days notice before I come out. We have never received that 30 days notice. Summer's almost here. That's going to be the second part of the late earliest convenience that you can arrive. Because a lot of ceremonial activity is happening in Indian country. And underneath it you wrote, unless you agree otherwise. Well, our people have been waiting for that arrival. And it's written by you. You've signed and dated that. That is your signature. Tracy Tulu, our plea is to you, honor what you've written. Give these voices that chance to be heard. And once and for all, please, America, leave indigenous people alone. Let us do what we're supposed to do. And we can show you how we can teach you how to be free. And then and only then can you live free. Metakiepi. Tokele taku iwag lake kihe. Mela haska. Tawi choi kilena wa u. Na etaha wop he kile, mila haska kile echa egnake. Ho yon kha, oyate mitha pik u. Hena wa homa kyapi. Na etaha kakit ka iblavle he ha, mila haska kile wambalake. Chuk si mithaki. Na hasani mithaki. Hena nupi. Isaki hinaji na oma kiapi, na wankam, heo cha chazeki ki, o chlate ki ikigwapi. Tony lena o teachi o kichumsni, Tony. Wakampi ki lena wa honkum kiapi. Heo cha chokata o kiab na lechus o hinajim. Ho, lena taku aikwaki ki le ieche tu, mila huska ki le kahe, ne ikigwa, ho eta ha chazeki oichbe. No kia hechus o chlate eungana kapi. Ho he wane to isam hel o pache ake wix gemana wanji hinaji o he ha hechus o hinaji pe. Ho le chalakas e. O wa piki lena taku hena mila haska wichoe kri ogna blawa ki he ieche tu. Lena e hani it hacha wanji mila haska tawa preki he ois piki he. He chajeki, mila haska chajeki he. Professor Stephen Pavar. He cha wo ki kilena wanki. Na ableze. 
चमेला हंस का किलना इसम या पी न ओ आपी किलना थोकाटा क्या एक न काम न ओ या टेगलना टोनी वहाँ का बो कीप्स ने ऐस ये छा ये न युस्लुटे न बुक वंजी आकाखिस ये छा ये छो स्टीवन पोवार ओ आपी किलना ठीमा एक न के न ओ इतना हो वाश आके किले लखोटा युहाबे है ना है चुस लखोटे इच्छी पिकता है हाँ ये छेत्यो मिला हाँ इसका था वो छोए किले इतने वो आप ही किले इन इंग्लिश टर्म वे कॉल इट हाइलाइटिंग हो है ना है चुस ए उबलूप के उबलूप के ना ए वाग ना के ना वाश आके किले ठकी के ओयू के आसपास पी के है ऐसा वहाँ के ना हाँ पार्टी ते ना वास्लो एक है एक ना के चो ऐता हाँ वो यार ते गले ना जानिया � लेना उंक ऊपी चाहे मिला हंस का था वो आप खेल के हैं सुता और इस बार फेडरल गवर्नमेंट स्टेट्स नहर ट्राइबल लैंड फोर्समेंट एजेंसीज के लेना अन्यू स्टॉक थे हैं उन चाहे वो आप के लिए आए खा के चाहे कि है ना या मैंने कि और इस बार पे वो लाख आप है ना आईख्वाके वो आशा के है सूता लुहाकते मैं ताकि ये पे हो है नहीं वो यार टेक लेना काकीश भी छापे मिला हंस काकी लेना ना हाँ ये ऐश काकी लेना ताकि वो है ना उनकी खाप्स नहीं की लेना उनकी है उनकी सुन यहाँ पे उनकी सुन यहाँ पे छा ऐता हाँ मिला हंस काकी इचुं के यहाँ पे ना ओ इचुं के यहाँ पे ना ओ उन के यहाँ पे ना ताकि क्या हो वना ये चाहे ना वहाँ का भी चलेना उनकी पुमना हाँ उनकी चुकते हाँ तो युष्पू पाओ में ताकि ये भी युष्पू या पोना इतना हाँ तो काटे या पी ना हाँ और यार ते गलेना हेच से और खान या पो हे वास आके के हे वना लुहापी ये हाँ ये वो या के हेच हूँ पी चाहे और एक पे के लेना आके अम पेटू मुझे आउक दे नहा नित्खा चाचे के है ना मिला हाँस का नौया ते ठोक चाके लेना चीन पिकते न एबले जब हाँता वाश आके के है तो अने है चुस नखमा ऐ अगना को या के कितने वाश आके अगना मिला हाँस का मंजी लेचुन से वहाँ पे निचो के हो इतना वाश आके के है आए क्या कितने न किक सुया ठोकाता के वाला के हाँता उन्ची मखा Tronkasla akhatran akitshi manetu. Na hakshi nubhi kchuzapi. Na sutanyan kapi. Toni le na itchumshni. Onki e tohan wo apkhe ki sutatran ki ki onki chupik te ke. He na otkhan onki apro eta han. Wo ki ki le na wo akhan ki he. Iki chan. Han petu ki le chante o aste o matra. Na abale zon na wo ik cha ki le suta aluspe apik te hata. किसी आप वास आके के लिए नित्खाबे जो इतना हाँ और इस पे ना हाँ काकित क्या तो काटा क्या और खाना यापो मिटा के पे ले हम पे तो ना लेखते तो कि हो मत खाए आखे ले चनु पाकलो हाँ मनी मिलो चंटे इंज ओखोला कीचे खावो पे के लिए एवागना के हो है जिसे पिला मैं बोलो हो क्या है